of YouTube. <clears throat> so I'm gonna drop it down low real quick. I'm not gonna dick around too much. This is gonna be the tank. We're dropping down to Juggernaut Mini QP Designs. Let's go down low, you know. So this is what your tank is gonna look like. I'm gonna try to do this with the autofocus fully on. Actually, I'm gonna this is going to be the top of your box right here. Pretty little design, QP. Put the tank right here. So inside your packaging, you're going to receive a straight glass, a QP Designs vape band, authenticity card, See if I can get that to focus. Uh, I guess I'm not gonna get it to focus right now. You're gonna receive a bunch of little O-rings, blue Barbie screwdriver, Allen key, and some grub screws in case you don't like the flat heads that are in it right now. And then you have the pretty tank. Top airflow. The drip tip is a little small, but however, I think it looks good. It's got some really, come on. Come on. There we go. It's got some really nice colors in it. As you can see, it's a very low profile. And so we got a top airflow. And then this ring right here, is gonna be where you fill it from. As you can see, you got your fill port right here, which is a little tricky because I'll show you guys, but you have to fill it really, really slow. Otherwise, you are going to end up either A, flooding your coil, or <clears throat> B, leaking everywhere. Now, next time I do this, I could zoom it in a little bit, but I'm just gonna try it out. This is another new camera, first down low on this new camera. So I'm just gonna see how this goes first. So got your top cap. Very um, one of a kind for sure. There you go. So you're gonna slide your deck into there and this whole piece is gonna spin. As you can see, it's floating in there. Simple as that. And then this is gonna be your deck. I'm gonna clean that coil off, clean everything up down there. As far as coil placement goes, you're gonna wanna be able to look uh, I suppose I got that coil a little a little low. Um, you're going to want that bar to cut your coil right down the center for optimal flavor. <clears throat> um, it's side airflow, and the airflow is going to be coming in from underneath that little gap under the bar on both sides of the coil. So I do have it a little low right now. So let's clean it up. Pull up the coil and do a little wick. Thirty seven watts, dry burn. So the cotton I've been testing is Kendo Cotton Gold Edition. Um, so far I'm enjoying it pretty well. I haven't had any issues with it. Normally I use cotton bacon prime. <laughs> also, next video, I've been testing this guy out, Aquamaster. I'm going to spit that video out probably tomorrow. I'm testing this bad boy right now, so we'll get that video out soon. <clears throat> so, single coil, obviously, only one wick. 
I will show you where I personally like to place my cotton. So you want a nice snug piece, not too tight, and but not loose. So what I like to do with my wick is I don't like to bring it, come on. I'm trying to do this without manually focusing. I could manually focus it, but it'd be harder, but it would be quicker. Anyways, I'm not gonna fill that channel port up. I'm just going to um, <clears throat> like kind of dam the top of it. That way there's not a lot of cotton for the juice to travel through. I'll be right back. That's about the length I'm working with right now. And uh, you don't have to comb out too much. It is a, a pretty deep pocket in there, but let's see. I'll pull a little bit out of there. This angle is a little hard for me to see, so sorry if it seems like I'm struggling. I'm just trying to give you a better view. I can't even see if it's in there all the way. Yeah, um, it's hanging a, l a tad low, but that should be just fine. Focus. Focus. This is my first video with this new camera. I know I said that in my last video with the Jenna, but I was not pleased with the quality of that video. So, um, working with a new camera again. So this one's hanging even lower, but I think we'll be all right. Like I said, I normally just dam the top up, but I think we should be okay. If not, I will let you know, and then I will re-wick again and show you bastards where to put it. I'm going to open up this brand new bottle of... <sighs> This lemon twist. Everything is reversed. It's confusing. Come on. I'm about to just pull up the controller right now. Alright. Pink punch lemonade lemon lemon twist. Kind of drop it on the coil, give it a pulse, let that juice suck right in there. This also, so what this will do is it'll um, juice up your cotton, like priming a coil, priming um a sub on coil but um, it'll also help break in your cotton without you having to break it in by hitting it so as you can see I got a little juice down in there um, I'm gonna straighten this wick up now that it's wet with my tweezers and I'm gonna take a q-tip and dab all that juice out of there all right Got my cotton off. Uh, never mind, it's not that cleaned up, but whatever, we're gonna roll with it. 
So what you're going to do is you're going to take that chimney piece and you're going to line it up with the shape of that deck. Just like so. I'll go backwards and then it'll sit down in there. Personally, I like to take it off and then tighten it down just so I'm not cranking it down on my freaking mod. I see a lot of people do that and it really, really freaking irks me. Irks me, not irks me. I've, um, I noticed that a few of these videos, I'll be trying to say something and some random word will come out. And I'll go back and upload the review, and then I'll be like, whoa, 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 what the hell happened there? And I notice this on a live, too. I'll say a word, and it'll just be like, it'll be a word that'll sound like it, but totally different meaning. I don't get it. So, this is what I mean for filling. I am filling right now, slowly but surely. I kind of angle the bottle in there. If we get this to freaking focus, it'd be wonderful. So, I'm filling, slowly filling. If you try to go too fast, it's going to come right out of this hole. And then if you try to overpack it, it's going to flood the coil. So as you can see, it's starting to come up there on the sides. And that's as far as I'm going to go. Push that fill back down. And there we go. We're vaping. Now that you saw all that, I got my airflow about halfway. It's in that halfway. This is the ring, the fill ring. I'll show you. It's a bit of a pain. You just slide that down to close it. Top airflow. Short drip tip on it, but it's nice. Um, if you get used to it, it's pretty comfortable. This thing has a massive amount of airflow for a single coil. I shut it down to about halfway. <laughs> We're at a 0.19 at 62 watts. Let's vape it. See if we can catch some bubbles. No, maybe not. There you go. There's a bubble. All right. <clears throat> Long story short, I think this tank looks good on this mod right here. This is the Asmodus. Minikin V2 for the tank build quality great build quality um, the only issues I have is that the screws are a little rough on this one in particular um, other than that everything else threads pretty smooth it comes with a straight glass as you saw on the down low I think the bubble looks all right um, so I'm going to keep that on there, give it a little more capacity. 
Now, as far as filling goes, you gotta find that fill port and then you tilt it, you tilt it back like so. And you, what I do is I just kind of angle it. I kind of angle it in like that. And then just gently squeeze. If you are impatient, probably shouldn't get this tank. You can see how slow that's filling up. If you're impatient, you shouldn't get this tank. Um, it's going to take you some time to fill it up. But for me, <clears throat> it's worth it. The vape experience is nice. The airflow is smooth all around the board. Whether you open it up all the way, smooth. I'll shut it down to about, it's probably about 20% right there. Come on. There you go. We're at about 20% airflow. Nice restrictive airflow, but not turbulent. Still very smooth. I like it at about halfway. For me, the wicking is a little finicky. Um, you can't pack that cotton down in that little chamber. Otherwise, it'll it'll fluff it'll puff out when you get juice on it, and kind of restrict it from traveling up into the coil. So you want to make it nice and thin. I just like to jam. Oh, sorry. See, this is what I mean about saying random words, and I don't mean them. I like to dam the top of that slot there and not really hang my wicks down into the channel. Um, that way, it'll just kind of puff up on the top there, and the juice will just flow into that channel and then come right up into the cotton. No restrictiveness whatsoever. Airflow, like I said, is great. The flavor is on point with this thing for a single coil RTA I'm getting I'm getting good flavor good cloud production and so the only cons I really have for it is those um, screws are a little messed up but they work um, and then that filling method. I would just much rather see a top filling method where you just unscrew the top, fill it, screw it back on, not have to deal with that thing. But I've never had issues with it coming up. It does have nice tension on it. As you can see, I'm pulling on it with a decent amount of force right now, and it's not coming up. So you don't have to worry about it popping open on you in a pocket or something, even though I don't put mods in my pocket. You don't have to worry about it. But you do have to worry about filling it slow. Otherwise, you're going to splooge it out the hole or you're gonna end up flooding the coil because i did that one time i'm not sure how it did it but it happened bad so overall i think this is a great product it has its its kinks um but other than that if you can get over those things it's it's a great little rta and it's sexy the build quality is great and qp is a good company so i do recommend this however i do not recommend this to newer builders, newer vapors especially. If you're new into building, I would get a different RTA first and then get this.